Hi, and welcome back to All Things Pop Pop. Today, we'll be discussing the rumors regarding Wonder Woman's age in this new cinematic universe. Now, Emma Yimbe, he spoke yesterday on Schmoes Knows podcast, and he said that supposedly Wonder Woman is hundreds of years old. Now, for me, that's great news. Why? Because she's a goddess, and this makes perfect sense. Now, in the new 52, on the current comics, she's the daughter of Hippolyta and Zeus. So she is a god, and gods are around for a really long time. What I like most about this, if it is true, if she is hundreds of years old, that means she's been around for centuries and she's seen mankind evolve. And that gives her a really cool perspective on a lot of things. Now, if we have Wonder Woman alongside Superman and Batman, then what does Wonder Woman bring to the table? Because yes, they are a trinity. And being the fem only female in that trinity, she's going to be judged even harder and that's the reality of it it's unfortunate but it's true so wonder woman has to be better than both of these characters so you have the strongest man alive superman you have one of the smartest most intelligent men batman and then where does diana fit where does wonder woman fit and if she's been around for centuries then the wisdom that comes from that is something that not even batman can touch like he may be tech savvy and you know is always thinking ahead but to be able to see have seen the progression of humanity and to have that kind of bird's eye perspective that is only allowed in someone who's lived for so long by having her be around throughout humanity as it progresses um, throughout the ages, it gives her a really unique perspective. And so, one, wisdom. That's what she brings to the team. But two, being that she's centuries old, then it's that's pretty much confirming that she is a god. And gods are strong. And who can potentially be the equal of Superman? And that would be Wonder Woman. In order for Wonder Woman to be equal to Batman and Superman, she has to be better than them. If she's just as good as Superman or Batman, she's still not their equal. She has to be stronger than both of them for, that, for her to be taken seriously. I wish that were not the case, but unfortunately it is. So we need Wonder Woman to be strong, but we want her to be stronger than Superman so that you can really see how formidable she is. And she has to be smarter than Batman so you can see that she has a lot to bring to the table. She's not just, you know, the third addition to this ensemble for the sake of her being there, for the sake of a female being there. She's there to contribute. Another reason why this is good is because it also allows for Wonder Woman to have her own independence. By her being around for so long, she's also afforded a lot of freedom that the other characters don't have. She's able to exist in a universe outside of everyone else because being a god she's been around for so long and you can really make her movie in any in any time and that's that's really important for me because i don't want wonder woman to just be seen as you know the third wheel or you know um a love interest for superman or batman she's her own hero and she has her own strength wonder woman is the quintessential female hero. I want Wonder Woman to be very strong and we need her to be very wise as well. So this gives us the perfect opportunity to have a very intelligent Wonder Woman and that's very exciting. So thank you again for watching. If you have any comments or you know you don't exactly agree with me, maybe you don't think it's a good idea for Wonder Woman to have been around for so long or perhaps you have another take on Wonder Woman. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below and thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.